Hello underachievers. So here's a video everyone's been waiting for, me and Madink. Just a pre-warning, I'm probably gonna be really uncomfortable this whole time, so you should be prepared for that. I'm not uncomfortable with the idea of having bottom growth, I'm just uncomfortable with the idea of talking about it. Also, massive warning, if you're my family or my close friends, don't watch this. Literally not even if you're curious or slightly curious, don't watch it. And if you do end up watching it, don't talk to me about it ever. So obviously I have to do a trigger warning thing, there is gonna be dink words in this this video. I'm not sure what words I'm gonna use, but they're gonna be to do with your reproductive organs. Obviously, this is a conversation I'm having about like sex stuff and like downstairs stuff. <sighs> I'm not gonna say don't watch it if you're underage because a lot of people that are underage will go on testosterone, but just be wary that some stuff in here is like, you know, sexual. Also, before anyone says anything about me having a bruise on my face, it's not a bruise. It's felt tip pen. I went to a Eurovision party last night and I was supporting Iceland and I had the Iceland flag, which was red and blue and it just looks like a bruise, but it's not. So, what is bottom growth? So I feel like bottom growth is a thing that not a lot of trans guys know until they know that they're going on testosterone. A lot of the time when you're talking about going on testosterone, you think about the voice drop, you think about your face changing, you think about like growing muscle and hair, but a lot of the time bottom growth is kind of skipped over or like pushed under the rug. Because obviously it's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, even if you're cis. We're talking about your bits is a bit uncomfortable to talk about, but when you're trans and a lot of dysphoria surrounds that area, it's, it's, it's very awkward to talk about. So yeah, bottom growth is pretty much what happens when you take testosterone. Now I hate the word and it's okay, I'm gonna say the word. No I'm not, I'm not gonna say the word. I'll spell out the word. Pretty much your... grows in size. It just gets bigger. It goes from a very, very tiny dink into like a slightly less tiny dink. That's literally all that happens. That That's it. That's what bottom growth is. That's it. I think I think people overcomplicate it and people get confused, but that that's what it is. Does this happen to every trans guy that goes on T? Pretty much. I've heard of a few cases of people not getting it and being disappointed, but like most of the time it happens. But different people have different bodies, so their bodies will react differently to testosterone and they'll have different sized dinks and all that shit, so that's the thing. I didn't really know how to talk about bottom growth without like, you know, throwing up, so I just asked you guys to ask me questions, and I'll answer some of your questions. I can tell I needed to make this video, because a lot of people asking these questions were very misinformed on what bottom growth is, and some of the questions are quite funny when you think about them, so I'll just go ahead and answer them. The first question I didn't screenshot, but I saw someone ask me it. The question was, do you like bottom growth, or were you scared about getting bottom growth? Before I started tea, I was worried about getting bottom growth. I don't know why, it's just because that part of my body's been pretty much the same my whole life, and I was aware that once I started taking tea, it would just change rapidly, and it did, it, it, that did happen. Do I like it? Yeah. I I do like it, because it doesn't look like what a girl has. It looks more like what a guy has, but just to a smaller scale. Somebody asked, does masturbation change? Like how? I don't know why I'm doing this video. Um, I guess it depends on how you do it, really. If your whole wank session depends on that little dink, then yeah, it'll, it'll change. It's bigger, so you're gonna have to, you know, maneuver yourself around it. How does it change that? That's how. It's bigger. But so it changes. Also, what you had before tea is ridiculously sensitive and taking tea and it getting bigger just makes it even more sensitive. So sometimes it's just a lot, it's too much. How far into tea does bottom growth happen? Again, this depends on the individual, but the majority of the time, bottom growth is one of the first things you notice. As soon as I left my testosterone appointment, the person who gave me testosterone was like, just a warning, in 48 hours you might feel a bit of tingling down there. And I was like, alright, thanks very much, Mary. But yeah, for me, it literally, I noticed it the day after. And it wasn't I noticed a change in size, I just noticed that something was going on down there that wasn't happening the day before. It was definitely, like, tingling. I could feel things that were happening down there. That was, that was a change. When will it stop growing? So I heard loads of different stories and obviously, again, it depends on the person and the genetics and how their body works. Usually it stops growing within like two to three years. That's the main time frame that I've heard, but also I've heard of a trans guy that's been on T for seven years and it's still growing. So honestly, I don't have a definitive answer. Maybe it just keeps growing until you die. That'd be great. Maybe, maybe if I get really old, I'll have like a normal sized penis. I won't. It's not ever gonna happen. Somebody asked, did it make your bottom dysphoria better or worse? For me, it made my bottom dysphoria a lot better. I still have bottom dysphoria, you know, that I will always have that. That's a thing that will happen all the time. But it's made it a lot better because, as I said, it doesn't look like a lady part. So any change in that area is good. Also, other things about it is good, but there's questions in here that will answer that. I'm gonna be uncomfortable, but it's chill. Somebody asked, do you ever find it painful? Um, yes. When it first started growing, it was painful, it hurt, it wasn't like 
a stabbing pain, it was more like an ache. It was like growing pains, but because it's so sensitive, like, it hurt a lot. And it was just uncomfortable, and, like, I can only tell a few people about it. I was like, guys, my fucking dink. My fu it fucking hurts. And I was uncomfortable, I had to, like, sit funny. It was just, it was not pleasant. And it was painful for a bit. I couldn't really touch down there for, like, a few days at a time, every time it, it grew. I'm, like, a year on T now, and nowadays it is still painful if it's been used a lot. And it's very sensitive, and... <sighs> Just, it's great, believe me, it's, it's great, but it, it hurts sometimes when it's been overused. Miles asked this question, and I don't know what it means. Somebody asked, does it feel odd? At first it was kind of odd. I was expecting it to happen, but I was just not used to it being that size. Like, I'd be in the bath and I'd look down to wash, and it was just, like, bigger every time I looked at it. And I was like, okay. It, so it was odd in that way, but it wasn't like, wow, this is fucking weird. So this is one of the questions that I found funny, and this is one of the questions that made me think, yeah, I should be making this video because people are misinformed. Somebody asked, do you pee out of it? Um, no, mate, you don't pee out of it. The only thing that's changed is the size in which the thing is. There's no hole in that dink. You got a pee hole, you got a poo hole, you got a... that hole. You pee through the pee hole, you don't pee through your dink. Unless you've had surgery to put the pee hole through a dink, but you don't pee through a dink just from bottom growth. Somebody asked, can you masturbate? Yes, you can masturbate. Obviously, a lot of the time you have to do it differently to how you did it before you got bottom growth, and sometimes it hurts so much that you feel like you never want to do it again, but you can definitely do it, and it does feel very good because it's bigger and it's more sensitive, but that can be bad because sometimes it's too sensitive. If you have a very big bottom, in fact, the biggest one, do the farts make it vibrate? Love you. The farts have never made my bottom grow vibrate, no. Well, I mean, maybe they did, but I... I'll pay attention next time. Another person asked, can you pee standing up when it grows? No, you can't. It's not. No, you can't. What is the worst thing about bottom growth? So, at first, the worst thing about bottom growth was that it ached. It hurt. It was uncomfortable. It rubbed up against my clothes in all the wrong places. When it started rubbing up against my clothes when I didn't want it to, it was uncomfortable. But also, sometimes it would rub up against my clothes and it would feel good and then I'd be uncomfortable because I'd be in public and it, like, it was weird. Also, sometimes it's way too sensitive and it feels like you've been hit by lightning every time you touch it. And that is not pleasant. It's not fun. Ouch. This is actually a good question. I have an answer for it. Is it because of bottom growth that penetration is more and more painful? Just curious. So, a lot of you may not have heard, but a lot of the time when you start testosterone, having penetrative sex in that hole hurts more. And it's not because of bottom growth, it's actually because when you take testosterone, the natural lubrication in there, there's not as much of it in there. So, when you do have things in there, there'll be more friction, so it'll hurt more. That's why it hurts more. Also, sometimes the lining gets smaller, so it, it hurts more. Somebody asked, can it grow to the point where it stands up erect? Um, kind of, yeah, it does. Well, not really, it can't stand up, because unlike a cis guy dick, it's, it's, it's joined by a piece of skin to your body. So if you cut the skin, it would stand up erect. And yeah, I kind it, it, I guess it does. You get boners. Which is great. That's another good thing about bottom growth. You get a little tiny, little tiny dink boner. And that leads me on to the next question. Does it get hard? Yes, it does. And there's a noticeable difference between when you're hard and you're not hard. Somebody asked, the sensitivity increase? Are orgasms different? Yes, sensitivity does increase so, so much. So very, very much. Like a ridiculous amount. Are orgasms different? Um... I don't know, I've had a lot, so I don't recall. Maybe? I, I don't think so, they haven't for me, at least, I don't think. It's good, well, I mean, it's more sensitive, so I guess they're probably better, but I don't, I don't know. Someone asked, is two inches a realistic expectation? Is that two inches? Yeah, I guess, I don't know, I haven't measured mine. I've heard of some guys getting to like three inches, which is like ridiculous, and I don't know if I believe them. Obviously, different guys will be different sizes, so I, 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 I I'd say don't have an expectation as to how big it's gonna get, but I feel like one to two inches around there is normal. Someone asked, how did you make the pain go away? That's very sad. Um, uh, I didn't. I kind of just let it go away itself. I don't really take paracetamol or ibuprofen when I'm like feeling sick or in pain. I kind of just moaned about it and then it, it went away. Here's another fun question. Does tea give you anything similar to balls or is it just a little pee pee? No, it does not. Tea just gives you bottom growth. It's just, just the dink. It's no balls, no balls, no balls for us. I am fond of this person. I don't know who you are, but this, this, what you just said. Every trans guy has above average bottom growth. Are y'all exaggerating or is the average wrong? I feel like people are exaggerating. Because all the pictures I've seen and from my experience, everybody is lying. I know some people that have said like, yeah, I've got like three and a half inches. And I'm like, you really don't. But I find it funny that they're boasting about their bottom growth because it's not a penis. Like, 
It's not like boasting that you've got like a 10 inch cock. It's like, it's a, it's a micro penis. Why are, you, why are you boasting about the size of your micro penis? It's still fucking tiny. Somebody asked, can you jerk it off? And the answer to that is yes, you can. It's, you can do that. What's the word? Gender euphoria. I'm kidding. I'm never going to use that in a sentence, but I just did. But yeah, it feels good because like, it feels good when you do that anyway. But it feels good because also it's like, that's how guys do it. So it's great. Somebody asked, can you have sex? Yes. <laughs> you can have sex. That person also asked, does it look weird if you look at it in a mirror? Depends what your definition of weird is, because, I mean, I'm a dude without a dick, so looking in the mirror naked anyway is kind of like, the fuck is up. But I don't think it looks weird. It doesn't look like what a girl has, again. Like, it looks like a, a, a tiny little penis. I like it better than what it was. It, it, a lot of people call it weird because it's not like it's normal because most people aren't trans and most people don't have bottom growth But I don't think it looks that weird. What's the size range from like maybe like half an inch to two and a half inches? I think honestly it depends on the person and it depends what state you're in if you're harder It gets a lot bigger it gets noticeably different different bigger or maybe I am just a grower Maybe that's it somebody else. Can you ejaculate? You can't do that. No again as I said there's no hole through it it's just it's just a, just a, just got bigger. Someone asked, does it feel like you're masturbating every time it touches with the clothes? No. It does kind of feel good sometimes. The, well, it's either, it either feels good or it feels incredibly uncomfortable. Like, there's no in between. For me, at least. I guess it depends on how tight your clothes are. It doesn't feel like you're masturbating, though. No, it doesn't. Do you need to adjust slash change your underwear type to accommodate? Um, I have these, I've got a few pairs of underwear from Primark that are like extra smalls and they're way too tight, it feels like I'm being strangled. I don't wear them anymore, so I guess a lot of people do have to accommodate and change. Because it sits differently, it's it's bigger, and it's, you know, it, 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 yeah. Once you have a little peen, you'll have it forever. Yes, as far as I'm aware, Bottom growth is a permanent change of testosterone and it won't go back if you go off testosterone. Which, if you detransition, I guess that kind of sucks because you've got a tiny little dick. Corey! Come here! Can your boyfriend suck it like a tiny dick? <laughs> Have a good day. Do you get dick cheese? So, you don't get dick cheese, obviously there'll be like little like skin cells in there, which that, that is kind of dick cheese. It'll be the amount that you got before, but maybe a bit more because it's bigger, so there's more space. I, yeah, I guess. Is it visible from the outside of underwear? I guess it, again, depends on how big it is, but yeah. Yeah. Also depends on how tight your underwear is, obviously, but like, if, if you're wearing tight underwear, yes. Yeah. Someone said, is it stiff or mobile? I think you mean, like, does it dangle? Because it, it doesn't dangle, like, it doesn't move like, like a dick, like a, like a cis penis, like that. This is fun. I, I like this. It stays in one place. It's because it's got that skin attached to it, uh, attached to the body. So that's the end of the video. Um, I hope it was educational. Please, if you're curious about anything to do with bottom growth, please do ask in the comments. No matter how weird you think the question is, I'm happy to answer it, or other people will answer it. I'm sure other people will be reading the comments. If you have any curiosities, you should ask, because maybe this is going to be you in the future, and it's best to know what's actually going to happen before it happens. So yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Punch.